Hey, what up, Z Clan and everybody else? How you doing? I hope you're doing good. Welcome to my Outriders build video. Uh, this is the Devastator Anomaly build, and I'm super excited to share it because this is my second version, and actually now one of my favorites. It's uh, it does a good amount, a decent amount of damage AOE, uh, somewhere in between 800 to 1.2 million AOE damage and crown control. And thanks to this build, man. I started getting even more goals than I used to and plus the survivability is slightly better than the previous but still this build is a little bit sensitive so basically if you mess up you're most probably gonna die but as you can see the camp plan uh, 9 minutes 22 seconds front line 9 minutes 21 second uh, arch of Enoch 9 minutes 51 when there is like 15 minutes needed and stuff like that so this build is actually pretty co cool I wanted to do the boomtown but for some reason on Xbox the boomtown is very laggy when you start it so in this video once I explain the build etc we will do a frontline run uh, so you can see the entire build in action where I will not be commenting so let's start wasting time and jump right into it Alright, so I'm going to start off with the class, then go to the skills, then go to the mods and explain everything. Alright, so since this is the anomaly build, essentially we go all the way down. Ooh, so all this bar over here. Uh, this is one of the important one, the paladin, which basically increases my anomaly power for 45% for 10 seconds whenever I use a protection skill. So I use the golem for protection and for more DPS. And this is one of my favorites. It's an additional heal that I get. So basically you're healed for 25% of your bleed damage. So whenever they're bleed, I heal, which is good. <laughs> so the skills. Uh, in the previous version, I've used to use the impale which is a really good damage dealer but there's a few buts it's not a really best of AOE damage and it doesn't allow me to control the crowd when endless mass now that's a different story first of all I think there's a bug with this uh, specific skill it can one shot brood mothers so if you're fighting in the alien territory and you manage to slam this skill when she's casting the absorption skill I actually have a separate video on that you'll be able to one shot I mean there's a very high chance that she will die uh, earthquake is one of my main uh, damage dealers plus my weapon mods which has not changed from uh, the first version only one shotgun has changed but it's not still not the best I'm looking for two different shotguns so I'll explain uh, why once we get to the mods so they have moaning winds they deal insane amount of damage as I said uh, 800 800,000 slash 2.1 million times by two because I do that uh, twice <laughs> because of the two shotguns it's crazy you'll see it when I'll be doing the run alright so endless mass has got some really nice mods which actually also uh, allows me to deal even more damage with an anomaly so let's get into the inventory I've also changed so what has changed from uh, version one my pistols have changed so I used to run with this one, Fortress and Clip Combustion, but turns out this, I think, is the best pistol in the freaking game. <laughs> Death Chains with Fortress is is great because now the way my playstyle works is I unload my two shotguns, right? So for those who do not know, uh, there you go, there was the first explosion. So that deals damage and that deals damage, right? So I don't use my shotguns at all. I unload them before I get into the actual uh, expedition run. And then this is my main weapon. Now, because of the death chains and the fortress and the anomaly, it deals a lot of damage. And I, and I just need to shoot different targets because it triggers every two seconds and deals uh, 200, uh, let's say 200,000 uh, damage over three seconds. Uh, but with the anomaly and uh, vulnerability things that I inflict it can do even more so it scales a lot and scales crazy so for the shotguns this shotgun has not changed the most important here is uh, moaning winds which deals uh, let's say 400,000 damage but with all the debuffs bleed and other stuff it deals 800,000 
With this shotgun, it has radiational splash. Now this is a different from what I've used in version one. This is a new one, uh, but it deals radiational splash. Reloading causes a small explosion, and the moaning winds cause a small explosion. And it also uh, gives a vulnerable uh, debuff. So vulnerable debuff, if I'm not mistaken, it's uh, they deal, they take. 15% more damage, if I'm not mistaken, or you deal 15% more damage if they're vulnerable. Uh, I can't remember. There's two different ones. Uh, actually, hold on a second. Vulnerable increase receive damage from all sources. Yeah, and weakness is uh, decreases damage dealt. Okay, so that's what it is. I just wanted to get that explanation over there. All right, so this shotgun does with the moaning winds, and when I inflict the bleeding and stuff like that, it does one point. 2 million damage AOE. So anyone who is in radius of uh, 5, 8 meters, boom. But they usually they always close, so they always take the, the top notch. Then for the armor, I have the Marshall's Helmet, and uh, it has the following mods for the Endless Mass. Increases the skills uh, radius by 25%, which is great because I'll, I'm able to control even more and get them grouped up into one uh, pack and then just run in and just explode or smash them with my earthquake but usually what I do I smash the earthquake so I can inflict bleed then I smash the endless uh, the endless mass skill so it deals more damage because they're under an effect of bleed and then once they're grouped I smash uh, the other two earthquakes to eliminate everything that is in there uh, you, you'll see that in action it's just um, perfecto and yeah uh, so Boom, boom, boom. What I want to show here. Oh, yeah. So it kind of groups them up once again. So the radius is great. I'm, I'm able to capture more dudes. Then the other one, the super duper that I love, is anomaly damage against affected targets is increased by 33% uh, for 5 seconds, meaning my earthquake and any other uh, that benefits from anomaly, including my shotguns, they deal a lot more damage. So that is crazy. Uh, seismic commander I changed the chest piece uh, with the mods essentially since I'm not using impel anymore uh, earthquake legacy increased the skills range by 60% as I said I underestimated this mod in the past like this is a must have because your earthquake is able to reach out to a lot of different enemies effect bleed deal damage it it's just a must have if you're doing earthquake uh, and Bone Crusher uh, for Endless Mass, which increases its damage. So Seismic Legs, I've changed only one mod. I've kept the mod Tainted Blood, which basically uh, inflicts 25% more damage to the enemies who are affected with bleed. And Endless Mass inflicts vulnerable on all of the enemies pulled by the skill. So they take, it allows me to deal more damage. So that's beautiful. Uh, this is my handmate. <laughs> <laughs> gloves uh, increases the damage of my earthquake and allows me to use it an additional time before the cooldown trigger and my seismic boots have not changed so it allows me to make one more so in total I can do three earthquakes before it triggers the cooldown and inflicts bleed so over here if you have any questions whatsoever feel free to comment down below and uh, I'll get into details as well as I'm also open to suggestions or you know yeah suggestions because <laughs> uh, personally myself I'm looking for two sh different shotguns uh, they can be the same type or different the most important is that they have the fortress uh, third mod or they have the moaning winds so if it has the moaning winds I apply the fortress if it has the fortress I apply the moaning winds and that should allow me to deal even more damage so that's what I'm looking at to get for this set and I think it's going to come to its final stage. Although I still don't know what the Seismic Commander uh, helmet does because I still haven't got it. It's crazy. So maybe it'll change. But essentially uh, for the armor set I'm using the uh, Seismic Commander which, uh, a lot, which increases damage towards enemies with bleed by 50% so plus this is 25% so that's 75% vulnerability uh, that's 15% so 80-90% so if you add it up it just gets into a lot of crazy uh, crazy damage so skill bonus damage 2125% and that's 
still needs to be triggering. So over here you can see all of the stats. And status power is good. Although my helmet man doesn't have status power, sucks. This is like the only uh, minus. Like my perfect, perfect set is this. Anomaly, status power, cooldown reduction. This is what I want. This is what I need. And if the, if, if the seismic commander helmet is gonna have these trains, I'm gonna replace this and see what 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 other magic I'll be able to do. But at the moment, as I said, this is probably the craziest build I've made so far in this game. So now it's time for an expedition run, and we're gonna do the front line. Yeah, front line. So yeah, this is where I'm gonna be calling it the end for me chit chatting and you'll see the build in action so <clears throat> if you enjoyed it don't forget to hit that like if you subscribe welcome to Z Klein I'm Gamer Z Soul if you want to join our discord feel free to do so the link is down in the video description we're over 800 members but make sure to read our rules and if you want to stop by any of my live streams on twitch the link is down in the video description the only thing is I don't have a fixed schedule on streaming because I'm not a full time and that's pretty much it so let's go ahead and uh, tango
Artillery support incoming. I missed up a couple of times. <laughs> again. What a waste of your last word.
Man, I just gotta say, I messed up so many times here. <laughs> Although I still did good, I'm well surprised, but I messed up so many times. Like, I allowed my shotgun to unload, especially the one that takes a lot of time to unload. And I messed up a few more times, I think you've noticed. But, essentially, we still did really good. I mean, this build is one of my favorites. It's crazy. Let's see what we'll get. Come on, give me a second. <laughs> Commander Helmet, please. Ooh. I never got one. Ooh, two, three. Come on, babe. Give me my love. No, 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 no. I, I got a bunch of those helmets, man. A whole bunch of these helmets. It's crazy. What weapon did I get? Ah, uh, this one right here. Uh, I got a whole bunch of those too. And I got a whole bunch of these gloves too. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> can't get my seismic commander out well I hope you enjoyed the show don't forget to hit that like if you did and maybe share it with someone you know who might find this video useful sorry that it's too long <laughs> I don't know I don't see how I can shorten this video oh yeah let's also take a look at this as you see earthquake is my main hinder hitter so that's uh, 94 million Moaning winds, uh, 50 million, so that's my second top hitter. And bleed essentially is good. Endless mass. Endless mass is crowd control. Two main hitters, earthquake and moaning winds. It's crazy. From the